everyone. Uh, we're about to start the show in about 15 minutes, Sports Sunday. We've got a lot of stuff to talk about, uh, from the Rockets to the Astros. Kind of a rough weekend for them. Yeah, I mean, they can not They can beat just about everybody else in the big leagues, but they've lost two series now to the Texas Rangers, one of the worst teams in baseball. I can't figure these guys out, but they play them well. I mean, when they play the Rangers, it's tough. It's tough to win when you're starting pitcher. You give up 10 runs today, 9 runs yesterday, yeah. even though they almost won today. They came all the way back and had the bases loaded in the ninth inning. We'll show you how it all went down. But, yes, they come back to Houston again after going to Arlington and losing two out of three. But they haven't lost a game all year at Minute Maid Park, all six of the games they've had at home. <laughs> also, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to ask, and we'll, we'll try and get to them. But uh, shifting gears to Rockets, they we still don't really know how they won last night. Well, Harden Harden. went three for yeah. 20, but I think that just shows the caliber of this season's team that they can still win when Harden starts a game over 15, and it makes me really excited for the next round already because I think this one's over. I think they're going to sweep personally. I don't know what you guys think. I think, I mean, if you're a Jazz, you've got to be kind of deflated. Yeah. I mean, you gave it the best effort you can. You hold Harden to, what, 21-22, most of the free throw line, yep. and you still can't win. I mean, I don't know what – they're going to need a lot of motivation. They've got to get their own shots. Yeah. They played two games here in Houston, a yeah. game at home, and the friendly atmosphere for them was a horrible atmosphere for every visiting team. You know, the, the Rockets, Austin Rivers uh, among them saying, we could barely hear ourselves to communicate, and yet they still played a really good defense, even though they left the Jazz open all, really all series. And then again, at the very end of the game, Donovan Mitchell had a wide open three pointer to tie the game with 10 seconds left, and they wouldn't have even had an opportunity to foul because he was that open and he missed also. That was the I story was of the whole surprised. series. I think of course, he was surprised. He was that open. It wasn't intentional that they he let them open. And wide open shot. I think, and this sounds kind of very simple and stupid, but I think that it would take the Jazz to make all their open shots and the Rockets to have an off shooting night, everyone, for them to win. Because, I mean, think it's about good. the point it, differential that yeah. there's been in each game, minus the game where Harden basically didn't do anything. Well, I, I put this out there yesterday. <laughs> yeah. the, they played 12 quarters now. The Rockets outscored the Jazz in the first five quarters by 52 points. Yeah. They've only outscored the Jazz by three points over the last seven quarters, and yet they've won all three games. Mm. That's the kind of stuff that's well, got to make you think, how are we supposed to beat these guys? We're in our own building. We, they came out, scored the first eight points of the game. They had the 11-3 lead, and James Harden had two fouls. Right. And he didn't foul out of the game. Chris Paul didn't foul out of the game. They had so many things going for them, but they mm -hmm. just couldn't make their yeah, shots. Gordon hit um, shots, P.J. Tucker. I mean, Austin it's just, Rivers. Somebody just, yeah, said, Austin Rivers. somebody just said Austin Rivers is a beast, and that's, that's something that we're going to talk about on Sports Sunday and in my piece that I did was James Harden talking about all those guys, Austin Rivers, Kenneth Fareed, even Daniel House that have joined the team and have bought into what they're doing and just taken this team to that next level and right. they think that's why they really have a shot this year to win it all. Well game four is coming up tomorrow night, another late game at 9.30 in Salt Lake City so the Rockets will try to close this thing out and uh, then get a little bit of rest before round two. It appears to be Golden State, who's now 3-1 against the L.A. Clippers. So the Clip, uh, Warriors won again today. So uh, this is, it's kind of playing out like they want it to. You want to get some rest, yeah. you know, recharge the batteries for rounds. Yeah, the Warriors and Rockets both one win away from that series, the matchup everybody wants to see, meeting in the Western Conference Finals again. They'll just do it in the semifinals this year. It's basically yeah. the title for the West, and everybody knows it, regardless of what's happened on the other half of the bracket. These two teams with another win, we'll play each other, and the winner of that's going to the NBA Finals. I don't think anybody uh, right. thinks there's a possibility, again, outside of injuries, that that won't happen. Uh, Texans, we talked about the Texans schedule. Uh, their schedule is going to be tough. I wouldn't be surprised if they struggle a little bit at the beginning of the season. Not wishing that upon them. I think they could do well, but it's well, going to be really tough starting. Yeah. They, I mean, it doesn't get any easier. That first what, seven games is tough. They're playing some great yeah. quarterbacks, some good football teams. And then it gets a little easier, if you will, for the NFL in that back half. But uh, they got to make sure they don't bury themselves. Well, I mean, what they did last year is probably who they are again this year. They play all these games. They're always close. They're always coming down to the fourth quarter. Now they are going to have a little bit tougher time doing that with all these quarterbacks they're facing and all these you know playoff teams from last year that should be back in the playoff mix again this year. Uh, so uh, their schedule. I mean, we already knew their schedule was tough before we got the dates and times and prime time and all this and their uh, trip overseas to take on the Jaguars in London in early November. We knew all that beforehand. It's just a matter of how it lays out. It looks like the possibility exists that how last year started could be a repeat, and it's pretty unlikely they're going to set another record two years in a row. <laughs> we'll talk about the schedule. Uh, we'll weigh in on that. Uh, Paul Gallant from 610's in as well to talk a little bit of Rockets with us. Also, 
uh, his takes on, on the draft and maybe three players he thinks the Texans should focus in on in the first round and maybe in the second round as well. We'll talk a little bit about that. Draft arrives on Thursday. I'll hit on that as well in my piece. The Texans That's right. yeah. definitely yeah. listen to, yeah. to what Paul had to say, what we've had to say about mm -hmm. them. As long as the board speaks to them, you're going to want to hear about that. Coming Plus, you got uh, kind of the state of the Texans with JJ and, and these guys are kind of how yes. they're feeling right now going to the offseason. Feeling good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm about to go on the air, so yes. I've got a scoot. Well, we're all about to go on the air, so we're going to go get ready for the show. But we hope you guys join us in nine minutes and 55 seconds. So we'll see you guys then. Have a great night and happy Easter.